Hey guys, Tom here, and I know it's been a while, but welcome back to The Cutting Room 101. Alright, so as you guys may know, everyone on this channel took a little bit of a break. We were all really busy, but uh, now we're back and we're ready to do this thing. Alright, so as you guys can tell by the title, this is a special episode. It's a double feature, including Sean Webcom Official. And I want to give him a little bit of credit, because he kind of got me in the mood to do this again. So, uh, yeah, he's kind of been my guardian, I guess you'd say. He kind of got me in the mood to do this again. So, uh, thank you, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, he made sure I got this video done. Anyway, this week's topic is best guilty pleasure, so let's do this thing. Hey guys, SeanWeb.com here. Thank you, Tom, for that rather hilarious intro. Oh my god. But today's topic is biggest guilty pleasure, so I'm gonna kind of be technical with this topic because I'm gonna be choosing my biggest guilty pleasure, not my favorite guilty pleasure. I personally see a difference between the two because favorite guilty pleasure is one that's bad but you love it so much and for me biggest guilty pleasure is a film that is atrocious has no redeeming qualities whatsoever it's one that everyone hates like absolutely no one likes but yet I still enjoy it and I gotta say my biggest guilty pleasure <laughs> I don't know if I can keep a straight face saying this, but I'll try. <sighs> um, it's the Love Guru. <laughs> yes, the Love Guru is my biggest guilty pleasure. This movie is straight up awful. It's atrocious. It is so bad. <laughs> and I think that's the reason why I enjoy it because it's so stupid but the stupidity of this movie makes me laugh so much I don't know if it's because of the style that Mike Myers infused into it because I tend to like his style of humor and he just went all over the top with this one it was just ridiculous how far he went sometimes pretty much everything about this movie doesn't work the acting is awful the writing is atrocious. The jokes in this movie are so cheap. They are incredibly cheap. They are so over the top and cheap that sometimes they're just disgusting rather than funny, but I think because of how cheap and how stupid it is, I think that's the main reason why I enjoy this film the way I do. But I gotta say, I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this Justin Timberlake's character in this movie is absolutely hilarious, but again, it's on a stupidity standpoint. He's hilarious in this movie. He had me cracking up so hard. Okay, um, I really don't have much else to defend my statement about this movie. There's nothing really much else positive I can say about it because it is quite a bad movie, but uh, I don't even know why I enjoy it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about The Love Guru, my biggest guilty pleasure. And now on to Tom for his biggest guilty pleasure. Alright, so my favorite guilty pleasure movie would have to be one that some people imagine you consider good, but it's so campy, so over the top, so silly, that you can pretty much consider it a guilty pleasure, and that is Commando. And I'll put the poster right there. Commando is a mid-80s action movie starring the one, the only, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This movie is incredibly silly, incredibly dumb, incredibly just cliche, but you know what? I fucking love every minute of it. Alright, so to fill you in on the plot, the movie centers around John Matrix, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is this ex-commando military kind of guy. He's left the army behind him, and he's just trying to start a new life with his daughter. Unfortunately, though, he receives a message that he could be in danger, as well as his daughter, and, well, they are. His daughter is kidnapped, and basically it's up to him to try and get her back. That's the basic gist of this story. Now, I saw Commando a couple years ago, not really knowing what to expect. I just kind of went into it kind of a blind buy, and I absolutely love this movie so much. Like I said in the intro, it's really silly, really dumb. It's full of cliches, but it's just so much fun. I mean, the movie is just that typical 80s action movie that we've come to know and love. Arnold Schwarzenegger is just fucking hilarious in this movie. He has the one-liners, he, he shoots things, he makes things explode, he's Arnold, and he does what he does best. The rest of the cast is really good as well. They all have their one-liners, much like Arnold, and they're all just really funny, and really overacting, which makes the movie so much fun. And the action in this movie itself is really crazy. I mean, it's one of those movies where, you know, the main protagonist 
you know, he's by himself with like one gun, yet this whole entire army can't even take him out. You know, he's kind of just blasting away at all these people, yet there's like 50 of them and they can't even just take down this one guy. It's so funny and just so much fun to watch. There's so many great scenes in this movie as well that you just watch and you can't help just not laugh because it's so incredibly awesome. This is one of those movies you definitely watch with a group of people. You watch with your friends and you just have a great time with the one-liners and the action and the cheesy jokes and all that great stuff. So again, Commando is my favorite guilty pleasure. I enjoy the hell out of this movie. It's so much fun. It's so silly. It's so stupid. But you will have the best time of your life if you watch this movie. Just take it for what it is. Commando is seriously awesome. All right, and that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Cutting Room 101. Uh, I'm Tom Valiotis. You can go to my channel in the description below. Check me out if you want to, and if you don't, well... Pfft. Anyway, have a great day, guys.